What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Knights of Horror. Today, as you saw in the title, we have the first speculation map speculation map for HHN Hollywood here, or Hollywood Horror Nights. Um, and this is from our, our boys over at uh, Horror Night Nightmares. Um, as you know, every year they do put out some great speculations maps, um, and this year is, is no different. So we got version one. As always, this is just a speculation. This is nothing set in stone, and it will not be set in stone until we get a nice little tweet saying, by the prickling of my thumb, something this wicked, something, th oh God, something wicked this way comes, or something like that. I don't know. Tony, I know you're having a great time because you love to watch me stumble over my words. How are we doing today? Oh, doing good, man. Uh, I will say the only thing that is confirmed on said map is Chucky. That has been confirmed since Halloween of last year. So uh, other than Chucky, there's a lot of interesting uh, properties, uh, originals, even some logos that we do not understand. Um, so I guess the best way to start off with is is the very first maze, which would be the, uh, the Whores of Blumhouse, uh, Megan and Insidious, which will be at the uh, Waterworld queue. So yeah, so it was Blumhouse where that's where it was last year too. Yeah, same location as it was last year. Uh, Water World Q, typically a small footprint, a uh, good four five minute walkthrough, but a good walkthrough typically. I, I enjoyed the uh, horrors of Blumhouse that we had last year with um, Freaky and the Black Phone. Black Phone, that's it. Yeah, uh, those are the last things we did. We were a little tired by that time we did that one last year. Almost, when I went, almost uh, killing each other in that line. But. Yeah, yeah, we we were right about ready to fight each other. We were. That's neither here nor there. Um, these two movies are actually two movies I enjoy. Uh, I know that Megan has been quite a, quite a controversial film. Um, I know that some people hate it. I don't Sorry. hate it. I just it didn't. It wasn't what I expected it to be. Yeah, and also we've not really talked about this on camera. I loved the movie. I thought the movie was hilarious. It was probably one of the funniest horror films I've ever seen, in my opinion. Um, spoiler, when she sings Titanium, I absolutely lost it in the theater. And I thought, it's a creepy doll. Um, the, the premise of the movie is quite scary. Basically, an artificial intelligence doll. Um, and Megan is absolutely one of the funniest characters I've ever seen. It made, and a, I would, it made a lot of money because it's getting a sequel. It is getting a sequel, rightfully so. Um, I I had a feeling as soon as I had saw this movie and I saw the marketing for this movie that we were going to be getting this at HHN. Now, obviously, it hasn't been confirmed just yet, but this is this is like if I had a lock on this map outside of obviously Chucky, since it's already been locked. This is my lock is Megan because it is so good and it's so fun and 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 high key. If it comes. I don't think it drops below number three in my anticipated list because that, that, I loved that it so much. much. Anticipation already? Yeah, I loved that movie. That doll is so creepy um, in all the right ways, and I can only imagine how terrifying it's going to be. Is you know you're you're turning a corner and she's just there or she's dropping behind a boo hole. Count me in. Count me in. Well, and then Insidious is always creepy, too. I was going to say, since you didn't give love to Insidious, I'll talk to you about the Insidious portion of it. Go. Because, go for it. Uh, Blumhouse is actually, uh, they've been working on I think they already wrapped up filming, but they are making a new Insidious movie with uh, Patrick Wilson, who was the star in the first two. Um, he's directing this next one. So this should be a lot of fun. Um, I, I love Patrick Wilson as an actor. Uh, he was great in the first two Insidious movies. He was also an Aquaman. He's uh, Ed uh, Warren in the Conjuring films. Uh, so the guy, you know, he's well established in the horror world, and and to, for him to take on the helm of Insidious now and, and to continue the franchise with another installment of it, I mean, Insidious says itself like whether they weren't as good or not, the demons we can always say were always done really well. They looked really scary. Uh, they always made for great horror nights mazes when they had them. So I'm stoked for the Insidious part of this as well because Insidious is probably one of the greatest horror movies in modern day horror uh when it when it originally came out like it, it really elevated the horror genre to a whole new level 
of possession whore and and demonology and 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 whatnot. So I, I I'm stoked to see what they come up with with this new Insidious film and how that's going to translate well into a what looks like half a maze, pretty much how they did with Black Phone and Freaky. So. Yeah, I wouldn't. I'm, I'm, I know. Once again, I'm probably the the minority when I make this statement. If it's three quarters made it, made, Megan and one quarter Insidious, I would be happy. <laughs> but I'm, but depends, that's enough. Especially if if Insidious is going to be coming out in October, that would probably make sense that it, that would happen. You know, we yeah. get like a scene or two from Insidious. Yeah, like if we can go like three, four scenes from Insidious, maybe six scenes from Megan. Good time for me. Speaking of another good time, I know that both you and I would. Be quite happy if this came. Uh, second up here in the Walking Dead location, the Last of Us. How appropriate! How how appropriate. appropriate! Yeah, I I know that I I believe last year this was being rumored as well um, as early in the early speculation season. Uh, the Last of Us, obviously, the show has been nothing but phenomenal thus far, and we've enjoyed it. Um, and, and we both have enjoyed the video game as well. Um, and so I definitely think this would translate well, especially if we take more of the aesthetic from the video game. Um, because I, I think where the, the show is excellent is in that storyline and the, the character building and world building. The video game definitely has a creepy factor that hasn't been explored as deeply um, in the in the TV show. Um, and so if we can get some of that creepiness as you're like walking through dark corridors, with low light um and obviously all of the uh the zombies that are out there are quite terrifying um especially if we can get that big zombie that was in the episode um with the sniper um if we can get that big guy in there somewhere as like a like a, a ending false scare i would be happy um and if we can just you know get those uh what are they what are they the clickers is that what they're called yeah yeah, we can get some clickers in there. I can only imagine how, how how spooky it would be if you're just hearing the clickers in the distance as you're like with a great audio track. Um, and with the makeup and mask work that Horror Nights has been known for for so long, I definitely think they can bring a lot of these creatures to life. Um, and so I think with a good budget, and we already know that The Walking Dead is a prime location. Horror Hotel last year was quite well, did quite well. Um, the Walking Dead, obviously wonderful. Um, but I think if they can pay just a slight homage to The Walking Dead in its historical location, that'd be even better. I, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this is gonna we're gonna go a little off topic for a second, but it's on topic of Halloween Horror Nights. After finally seeing the trailer for Evil Dead Rise, and then going back and rewatching the walkthrough of Horror Hotel, I was like, "Oh shit! This easily could have been a fucking Evil Dead maze." Especially if they're going huh. on Evil Dead Rise, so that tells me I was like, "What if it was supposed to be Evil Dead, and and very late on it, late they changed it to Horror Hotel?" That could have happened because I definitely think that location didn't really have a concrete. I believe it was one of the last ones, if not the last one announced. Right. Um, and so I definitely think that that area was moving a lot, especially as we've seen um, Horror Night Nightmares. Um, speculation maps last year right. i'd have to go back and look but i definitely think that location did move with like multiple different um people working there so obviously it's not out of the realm of possibility because we've had in way years past you know people have been like hey scream was supposed to come yeah or hey the conjuring, conjuring was supposed, was supposed to, come. to come. yeah <laughs> yeah um, and if you watch the maze and you like think about where those scenes could have been in there with just slight tweaks. Obviously, maybe Evil Dead Rise was supposed to come. Yeah, because if you really pay attention, it feels like you're actually more... They made it look like a hotel, but at the same time, you can make it also look like a New York uh, apartment building. So, I haven't seen Evil Dead Rise, the trailer. Yeah, um, it's supposed so. to all take place in a New York apartment building. Huh, so. yeah, so definitely could have. Yeah. Definitely could have. Uh, but to talk about The Last of Us, um, you know... You know how big – I mean, on Nights of Horror Gaming, we just wrapped up the playthrough of that uh, for the remaster for the PS5, and phenomenal. Phenomenal game, uh, phenomenal storytelling. Uh, you love every character for their own ways. There, there's so many great uh, you know, moments of the game and whatnot, and, and they translated that really well in the show and even changed things for the better, in my opinion. Um and to see what they've done with the show and what they've done with the game and, and to kind of keep the core 
around what is The Last of Us and whatnot uh, is it, phenomenal. Uh, I, I've loved everything they've done with this show thus far, and it, it, it really only makes sense for them to capitalize on the popularity of the show. Uh, obviously, a lot of people are praising it. A lot of gamers are praising it. Um, a lot of people who've never even heard of the game are praising it. So it's 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 getting around to multiple audiences, whether you're a fan of the game or not. You can go in this not even being a fan of the game and still get hooked into it. That's how good of a, of a story it is. Um, so I, I would be excited to see this to come to Horror Nights. Like you said, there's a lot of there's a lot more ambiance and, and creepiness in the game than there is in the actual show, where the show's focusing more on telling a story. In the game, you had the freedom to walk around and check out abandoned locations and and loot and whatnot. So I would love to see them kind of do a mixture of like showing some of the top scenes from the show. But also showing that that eeriness and that darkness of the game of like you're walking through like a, a freaking dark sewer and you just hear clickers coming off in the distance, you know. So I think this could work. I am I am a big advocate for this coming to the event, and I really do hope it does come to the event. As do I. The the one thing that comes to mind when I think about this, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, um, the Last of Us TV show is being done by HBO, and HBO's parent company is Warner Brothers. Correct. Yeah, correct. So and, that and so rise a little bit of that's, you. <laughs> yeah so this is one of those ones i think it's too good to be true unfortunately um i think this is going to be another scream conjuring thing where it's like hey everything's looking like it's coming this way and going this way but then there might be some contract disputes down the line that may make it go <clears throat> halloween Which three. Be, Oh, yeah, well, Halloween 3. I don't know what happened with Halloween 3. I can't speak on that one. But... I don't know either, because we were, like, that fucking close from getting it. And I, we, there were signs. There was a facade. Don't Okay, just move on. I, I'm, I'm going to get heated in that one. Wait, no, I, I, I'll make one comment on that. What I, I don't know if, because obviously John Birdie is well aware that people like us are making videos regarding construction, regarding speculation and, and things like that. So part of me also thinks that he is he does have a he does have a better sense of humor and that he might have just put things to make it look like it was Halloween three coming just to mess with all of the vloggers and, and speculation people. That's uh, a little bit of hope I have that it wasn't that close. But that's neither here nor there. I don't want to get you angry. We can move on to, I to really number hope three. That's the case, but let's move on. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a conspiracy theory for another time. Uh, another thing that that, that that seems once again very promising here, um, Universal Studios Monsters Paris um, in the Parisian courtyard, which is super cool. Um, and so when I when I read this on the speculation map, when I think of Paris, I think Phantom of the Opera. Thank you. I yes. said that and shoot the shit. And I was like, people were like, well, how? I was like, the Phantom theaters, like the theaters big yeah. in Paris. Yeah, it takes place in. I believe it takes place in Paris. It takes place in Paris opera. too, right? Yeah, it's like yeah. Fuck. So okay, that's what I'm thinking. I think Paris is banned by the opera. Now, if it's something completely different, I'm not gonna be upset. I have yet to be upset at any Universal Monsters thus far. I feel like every year I go, dang, this thing's gonna be nine, nine out of ten, ten out of ten, and I walk out, and I'm like twelve out of ten, thirteen out of ten. What's your least favorite Universal Monsters maze that they've done so far? it'll be the first one because i didn't get to go through it so it has to be the lowest level for me because i didn't get to go through it and so i have that bit of like anger that i didn't get the opportunity to see the, the original uh, the, per the original of this series that I, I am happy you got to see bride though because bride was in my opinion the best so far oh uh, yeah bride was good um and but i know you so, have a soft spot for frankenstein meets the wolfman frankenstein meets the wolfman is sick because that was the first time you got to go through a Universal Monsters maze. Yeah. But I don't know. Um, I mean, I, I, you know, you and I are theater guys. And Phantom of the Opera is, you know, originally silent film, horror film, turned uh, kind of romantic uh, theatrical play. Uh, and one of the best in Broadway, may I add. So, uh, you know... To kind of go back to that that lore of the the horror aspect of Phantom of the Opera, you know, where how it was originally written and and <laughs> perceived as, uh, to kind of go based off that, I'm kind of looking forward to it because we haven't seen the Phantom at HHN Hollywood since the first maze in 2018, and he had a very small scene of just him playing the piano. So I'd love to see a whole like how they did with the Bride of Frankenstein lives, like that that, that spiritual sequel. You know what I mean? Like what happened after the Phantom? It's you know after the whole opera, like. 
did he escape? Did he go on to terrorize something else? Like, what happened? You know, is he mad because they discovered who he was? Like, what went down? No, I agree. I, I'm excited to see if it is a Phantom of the Opera, what that ends up looking like. Um, and shameless plug, I don't know when this video is coming out, but I know Midsummer Scream tickets are coming out soon. Um, and one of my favorite parts about Midsummer Scream is the HHN panel, because we always get great insight to Universal Monsters. Because mm-hmm. um, I definitely think this is the love child of John Murdy every year, and he just pours his heart out into this maze. Um, and so I always look forward to seeing, um, assuming this is coming, one of my, I would probably say, likely to come Universal Monsters will come again. Now, whether that's Paris or some other spin on it, I definitely think it's coming. Um, so I, I will be excited to get into the brain of John Murdy and hear about what came into the came into play with this and sammy you want to tell the folks who missed midsummer screen last year what's our friend slash said that he would do for this event every single year he says if you write it i will come and so he is always ready to write the music for it he said he will always make time for this event (laughs) yeah yeah so um that gets me happy (laughs) which gets me well when we get to number seven i have some ideas there number seven Um, okay uh, but yeah, I think Universal Monsters Phantom would be a fucking amazing maze. The Phantom yeah. is such an iconic character. He's one of the first to do the uh, Universal Monsters. He came out in the, in the silent film era, you know, and and one of the best to do it. So I, I'm for it. I, I, I think it'd be a lot of fun, and uh, Universal Monsters has not disappointed me yet. So let's Neither see. has it. All right, this All right, next now one, we'll... an original. <laughs> the Mummy Coup. What's it called? The Mummy Coup. The Mummy Great Coup. Great question. Okay, That's so this is, uh, uh, from what I've been reading and, and hearing about, from what we know, uh, this is based on Japanese lore, uh, which Ooh. will be an original maze. Uh, I was talking to our good friend Eddie from Edutainment, um, and from what we can gather as far as speculation, at least that, as we can call it, uh, this will be something based off the lore of the infamous Suicide Forest in japan now for those who don't know about the forest it has a very dark history to it um and sadly a lot of people go there to take their own lives um it's not the best thing i mean you guys should know logan paul actually just had controversy over it a few years ago so um you know to kind of base a story around it and kind of just use that setting as the overall setting, I think could really work, especially with Japanese folktale. Um, there's a lot, you know, they have a they have a dark and 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 scary past of of things like that. So, you know, when you see a lot of, especially in, in cinema and movies and whatnot, to see kind of their their folklore and their and their their you know you know urban legends and whatnot, it they're terrifying. So if they can build a story around this forest with like an urban legend or something, like I'm all for this. Cause for me, I don't know about you, Sammy, but for me, I've noticed that Hollywood original mazes actually kind of slap. No, I, I agree. I, I've yet to be disappointed um, in an original maze. And when we get to the next one, I'll, we'll dive a little bit deeper in that. But yeah, I, I agree. I, I'm not a hundred percent on what language that is. Um, excuse my ignorance uh, when it comes to that. Um, But if it is Japanese folklore um, and it has like all of the good parts of Shadowlands, count me in. Um, If we can get some of that suicide forest in there, if we can get some other Japanese folklore tied together in there, I think it'll make a great time. Um, I, once again, another great, I I mean, I I feel like every location in Horror Nights is great, but the Mummy Q, Another great place uh, where we had Universal Monsters last year. Got Killer Clowns in Outer Space. The Shining, Trick or Treat. Trick or Treat. There you go. You have to go deeper in history for you. Yeah. Obviously, I'm still a newbie there. But great location. Um, so uh, and, and an original, so count me in. And speaking of originals, moving on to number five here. Nightingale's Blood Prey, which I believe is what they did in Orlando two years ago. Count me. I might be wrong. Three. I think that might. Have I don't been know. Twenty nineteen, maybe, maybe, maybe. twenty nineteen or twenty one. Yeah, I think it was twenty one. Because I went. 20, uh, no, I went in twenty one. So it was. It had to be either last year or or the or twenty nineteen. I think it was nineteen because I went in twenty one. Okay, one of the years. Nightingales, Blood Prey happened, and once again another great, great maze there. 
as Tony can attest, Orlando knocks it out of the water. Oh, dude, Orlando is is Hollywood on steroids, bro. Yeah, knocks it out of the water. I can say they knocked it out of the water because last year Scarecrow number one easy. Don't at me. Yeah, and it was two different Even, stories. Like the concept was yeah. the same, but the story overall was different. And it was fuck. Yeah. I think it was probably the best maze at the event last year. Easy, easy. Yeah. I can't think of anything that was better. When I think of Scarecrow, the Reaping, ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. I, I'll go as Would, far as give it eleven out of ten. I if the if that line if the line was not as ridiculous as it was I would have went back down that hill and back up to go through it oh, and would, you know and I, I ain't trying to you. and you know I'm not trying to walk that hill yeah Heck no but you did better but I would have no I did that's but that's you know it's all good painting yeah you got clanging and banging but yeah uh, nightingales I mean was this one one that fans did not enjoy too much in Orlando or did they enjoy this one. I, I honestly would have to ask our Orlando folks because because I, I I if I if I remember correctly this is one that not a lot of people enjoyed, huh? But I don't know if John Murdy can take the overall central story and put his own new spin on it. I have a feeling that we'll have a more. I mean, because in my opinion, no Hollywood originals have done me wrong. I have enjoyed all of them. So if we're gonna get a little bit more original this year, count me in. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're this... pulling for more Orlando lore. Like, count me in because I've been saying they got a fucking stack of original mages they've done. How about we just start incorporating them in Hollywood, but do them in your own style? Yeah, I mean, this is, I think this is a great split on the speculation map. We do have one, two, three, four, maybe five IPs and then like five originals count me in that's a beautiful split in my book yeah. you get the wonderful thing that is hollywood that is ips but then you get the, the creativity of an original count me in um and speaking of count me in and i know you my shirt will say it all and i know that tony disagrees probably one of the scariest mazes from 21 yeah 21 ma- it was a scary maze in 2016 <laughs> it was a scary maze in 21 as well don't at me. The Exorcist. I'll at and you. The lo- I will definitely the, at you. And that lower lot tent. The only thing that the only thing that gets me a little nervous is the best part of it was the sound stage, because the way they did temperature control, the way they did darkness, was wonderful. Um, the way they had Pazuzu popping out of everywhere. Obviously, I think we would both Tony and I would agree that we would like to have something else there, but I'm not mad about it. I've only been through it one time. Um, and I think that's the beauty of only going to Horror Nights one time every year, basically at this point is if they bring something back, I'm not going to cry about it because I've only gone through it once. Now, obviously if you're a diehard fan and you're going 20 times or 10 times or whatever that number may be, you might be a little bit more upset because you're like, yeah, but 21 and 16, I only went one time and I only went through Exorcist one time each. Uh, I just, it, I was I upset because I knew from the get go bringing this maze back. Now, a lot of people are saying actually though this Exorcist is based off the new Blumhouse sequel that they're working on, which might be under the same title, uh, which is supposed to be the the new. They're they're doing the Halloween 2018 scenario where they're scrapping every other Exorcist movie and they're going straight from the original to this one. This is the actual sequel. Oh, I didn't know they were making a sequel. Yeah, they're making a sequel, and they're actually bringing a lot of original cast members back, those who are still willing to come back and whatnot and that are still around. Um, so this a lot of people are saying that this is actually the sequel that Blumhouse is doing. However, I would argue that why wouldn't you just include that with Hordes of Blumhouse? I agree. That's if, if it is a Blumhouse, I'm fine with the trouble feature. Just give it a bigger like space maybe put it at the lower lot 10 area then switch it out yeah yeah put it in the lower lot that was where killer clowns was last year and that was actually a pretty good area i i don't know i didn't get to go through it last year unfortunately oh, yeah. it was it was a good area but the maze was exactly the same as 2019 yeah so but um yeah so that's the, that's the that's what everyone's saying that this was it's the exorcist um if they do bring it back the original um I could guarantee that that's probably going to be the lowest on my both anticipation and post anticipation list because like, <laughs> like it's, I'm not dissing Murdy or anything. Cause they designed the maze really well. 
It's yeah. the fact that you know there's not going to be anything different to the maze in the sense of you can't do much with that film because it's one of, room. It's one room, and a lot of the action doesn't really start happening until like the middle of the film. So there's yeah. like very little to work with, and it's just really covering the main big possession scenes that you see with the demon and Reagan and, and the priest. Um, and you can't say the best line. Yeah, you can't even fucking yell the best line, which is your mother sucks cocks in hell. Like that's the fucking best thing of the whole Exorcist right there. But here we go. We just got demonetized. Let's go. No, because we're actually like 29 minutes into the fucking video, so it's, oh, I knew this thing was going for long. Anyway. Uh, hey, hey, shout out we're over halfway done thank you all for staying this long if yes. you have drop a comment down below what you're most anticipated off this list we're is old school nights of horror game where we just sit and just talk <laughs> yeah, um, no, this is, but this is what we do wrap, best to wrap that up i i i uh, i i think for me it's it's gonna be a third time's a charm thing i i'm i mean it's gonna it's gonna scare me regardless i think it really scared me that that walkthrough we went through because it was still daytime. Light was still coming into the sound stage of that one open door. And when we went through the black wall area, we could literally, I'm not even fucking exaggerating. We couldn't <laughs> see shit. Yeah, it was just like, go. Oh, actually, we're supposed like, to be going he, right. I actually go left. Hold on to my backpack because I was like, I don't need you falling over, bro. I can barely see. <laughs> I'm having trouble. Someone's going to fucking pop out of one of these walls and it's going to scare us even fucking more. Like, hold on to my backpack so we don't fucking get lost or you don't fall or anything. Or at least if you do fall, I'll go down with you so we go down as a team. Yeah, one team, one fight. Yeah, that's it. But oh, here we go. Curious George. Uh, Curious George. Uh, clown. I have, nothing, I have nothing for this. I really don't. You have nothing for this? I have nothing for this. Okay, what was Slash's maze and what year was that? 2015? Oh, it was Clowns 3D. Clowns 3D. What if we that's get a little sequel? I hope so, because then that means he does music for two mazes this year. Count me in. If he does music for two mazes, count me in. in. Or uh, my other clown's theory is uh, Hollywood Harry original maze, which would be highly unlikely given that he was the terror tram last year. Yeah, I giving think. him a maze would be different because you're more inter intermediate I'm with the story. With the story. Yeah. Um, Imagine, dude, like they fucking recreate the base motel inside of a fucking maze. Like some of the sets, like... <laughs> I'd count, be like, bro, count, me in. count me fucking in, bro, because that's basically where his story takes place is at that hotel. I'd be yeah. like, this is awesome. They like they did exactly what Orlando Horror Nights does. They take shit that's in the park and rebuilt it in this fucking maze. Yeah, Hollywood Harry, um, uh, Clowns 3D. Killer um, Clowns no. probably, but they brought that back last year, so I don't anticipate it coming back this year. Uh, I, I would say if it came back for a third year, I, I know that. Yeah, no, I would be like, really? Like, I get that the video game's coming out this year, I think. Maybe. Yeah, I think it's coming out in, like, April or something. Or uh, month, but, maybe. but yeah, let's, let's, I, I know this is painful to say, but let's not do Killer Clowns I, three I, years. Dude, I'm the biggest Killer Clowns fan out there, and I'm kind of agreeing with it, only in the sense of, like, we didn't get really anything new or any se new scenes, so I was a little upset about that, but it was still fun to go through. Yeah, yeah um, I mean, or else is another cool clown. That would that, that would be interesting. Although the way the clown looks, I'm kind of thinking more on the line of Hollywood Harry. Yeah, that's what I see. It's like a Hollywood Harry or, or something of that sort. But uh, the lock, um, thus far, the only announced main is Chucky. How do you Carries... feel about that? I gave my thoughts about it. How do you feel about it? Go check out our, our, our video where Tony gives his thoughts from October of 2022 no, or that, November. That, that video came out in like January. I was very oh, late. Uh, I was very late to that video because, like, uh -oh. we were on hiatus and scared oh, yeah, appreciation yeah. month. <laughs> yeah, uh, my uh, my opinion's short and sweet. Um, let's not, but we are going to. So, <laughs> hey, who knows? It might blow you away. <laughs> Maybe my expectations are are floor. Um, so it, it it's gonna exceed expectations, but so I would I would put Exorcist above. I'd oh, put extra really? just above Chucky. Yeah. It's a no, it's how do you create creative scares for Chucky? Well, I, I would only put Chucky higher than Exorcist because it'd be offering something new I've never seen. Yeah, but I just don't the it's literally just doll pop out knife. Doll pop out. Knife. Well then again, I haven't seen the show, so they might recreate some of the most iconic kills in the show and shit. So maybe. Maybe. Or the only the only thing that would like make it cool for me is if they do that like mannequin effect where there's like fifteen Chuckies. 
and like there's three real ones and 12 fake ones um that would be cool maybe um but i wasn't a fan of the newest movie i wasn't and this is a controversial opinion as well i'm not a real big fan of the original child's play either really it's fine like but i'm not gonna go out of my way to watch it I don't know. I, I liked Seed of Chucky and Bride of Chucky only in the time that they came out. I was just getting into horror as a kid. So, like, seeing those movies were kind of, like, they were kind of comedy and they were kind of scary at the same time. As yeah, kid. they were a little raunchy for me as a kid, so that's probably why I didn't like them. Yeah. But... And then Child's Play 2 was interesting. The third one, when he goes to military school, that one was – that one's a memorable one to me for some reason. I don't know why. I don't even remember it. Yeah. But, um – I know. I remember there's one where he actually like dies in a funhouse or something like that. Like there's like a blade spinning in the funhouse and he gets dropped into the blade and then he goes and gets shattered into like a million pieces. I'm like, why the? Fuck? But the thing, what? the thing that like I find not enthusiastic or makes me less enthusiastic about Chucky is like you killed a doll and it's like, oh well, I'm gonna actually go into another good guy doll or whatever the, the heck his doll is called. It's like so it's Michael like... Myers coming back every fucking film. Jason yeah, but at least it's only it's like, like there's like one Michael Myers. It's not like oh well, there's uh, seven thousand dolls still left on. Uh oh, we lost Sammy. That's not good. His laptop died. We lost Sammy. That means he's gonna be leaving the chat anytime now. <laughs> Well, back to my point uh, on Chucky. It's, it's just I'm not excited for it. Like I think the kills are just and scares are going to just be super basic. Um, I've not like, like I'm not like I I try to make time to watch horror things, and I will probably never make time to watch Chucky. The the sci-fi show. I'm gonna have to because I need to know what I'm getting involved with. Like I like if you tell me an episode to watch. I'll watch it, but I'm not gonna like the same way that I, I like I thought Creep Show was a great maze. But I never made time to go watch the Creep Show show. That was good. I, I know, but like I just was like I liked the facade for Creep Show, but uh walking through the maze was enough for me. And I feel like it'll be the same thing for Chucky. I'll go through it one time and I'll be like, alright, that's cool. But uh, this Talk next one next is because there's a few different things we can we can associate this with. Yeah, so uh, we got Rock and Roller Coaster um, Maze Nine here, um, Arizona <laughs> Aerosmith's Revenge, Aerosmith's Electric Revenge. Bo- <laughs> Electric <laughs> Boogaloo. So we got a guitar with a lightning bolt through it uh, as for the logo, and uh, I've been hearing a lot of things on the internet. The obvious one would be a sequel to uh, and a follow up to 2022's the weekend uh after hours nightmare which would be the weekend on fm um personally i would not want the weekend to come back but that's just me um wait i i, I once again i i only listen to the weekend on a flight to california <laughs> Uh, before midsummer, maybe I don't know. I downloaded it on Spotify and I listened to it on one flight. And that's the only weekend I've ever gotten. Which was the end of a... album that you had to listen to for the maze. Yeah. So but, if uh, Don F, I have no idea what Don FM is. That's one. Of I know the, it's another of his albums. I know his concert just came out on, on uh, HBO. HBO. <laughs> yeah. Ironic. Huh? But um, I I don't know. Uh. Another couple of theories and, and stuff that I've been also hearing is a lot of people are bringing back Metallica again. Now, Metallica, when a music make comes around, that's one they've always speculated. However, Metallica is coming out with a new album this this year called 72 Seasons, um, which is looking like it has a lot of dark tracks to it as far as lyric-wise goes. Um, but Metallica has a whole list of songs that you can pull from to make a fucking bitch in maze uh, and make it make that shit scary, too. Um, and then another rumor that I've also been hearing is Iron Maiden is another favorite that um, could potentially be coming to the event. I know last year uh, we brought up the uh, the tweet from John Murdy saying he's well aware that he knows who Iron Maiden is and he'd love to fucking do something with them if they were open to doing something, uh, especially with the weekend sparking that, that love for the music mazes again. So, you know, Iron Maiden has a lot to work with too. 
You have Eddie alone, who is the mascot of the band and is in every album cover. He looks terrifying, and he's supposed to be eight foot, so a person on stilts, perfect for that role. Uh, and then you take the music of Iron Maiden and and turn it into a, a terrifying walkthrough, and that could be fucking phenomenal as well too. But that's just me being biased because I'm a heavy metal rock and roll kid. So, um, Sammy, what are your thoughts of of potentially Metallica or Maiden or the Weekend too? Um, I'll take them in reverse order. I'll go uh, Weekend. I don't know. I enjoyed the Weekend Maze. I know that. Like most people, the weight was just quite unbearable at times. <laughs> um, but I thought overall, once you were inside the maze, I thought it was pretty sick. Um, and I enjoyed, obviously, I only got to do one walkthrough of it. So I tr- I tried my best to take it all in, but I felt like there was so much going on. Great scenic design, great scares, uh, great... And once inside the maze, I thought the sound design was really well, and the lighting design. Um so I thought it was a good maze. So I wouldn't be disappointed if Don FM came or whatever it may be. I'll have to listen to the album to really get a, a gist of what it actually is. But if it does come, I will not be able to give a full concrete idea of it until I actually like listen to it and, and comprehend what's going on. Um, on Metallica front, I, I do enjoy uh metallica and i can see why some people might think that you got a guitar you got a lightning bolt ride the lightning metallica so i i see how that correlation can be made um but i think it would be cool i think it would make some of those people quite happy that enjoy the uh, ride up and down the escalators um if we got a <laughs> if we got a maze uh, by metallica um and last but certainly not least iron maiden um I think we would all enjoy Iron Maiden, Fear of the Dark, The Maze, The House, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think it would be a great time. I think the music would lend itself well, um, especially if the band is willing to let the sound design team at Universal make, enhance the music to make it more scary, still have a, that heavy metal feel, um, that heavy classic metal feel. Um, but in turn, you know, make it maybe change it to a minor, make it a little bit more, uh, a little more spooky or whatever it may be. So I think it would be cool. But I mean, just from the uh, little image we get of a guitar and lightning bolt, I, I don't want to make too much, too brash of judgments yeah. just yet. And the last thing, but certainly not least on the list, uh, it looks like the Terra Tram is going to be returning. Or it's speculated to be returning. Well, just... hey, I will say this: it is returning because John Murdy tweeted He's now to work the on the t- now to work on the Terra Tram. So the Terra Tram is returning. That's con- we got confirmation that it is returning. As to what it is, it's being speculated as Terra Tram celebrities. So when I think of Terra Tram celebrities, two things come to mind. I think of the Terra Trams we've had in the past. Are we going to do like a, a kind of a circle through time, all the best, like the best of the Terra Tram, which isn't very many things since I started going. It literally was one year scream. Then it was the walking dead for many years. Then it was the purge for many years. And then Hollywood Harry came out and then they did the purge again. <laughs> and then Hollywood Harry came back. Um, so it hasn't been too much thing since I've gone. Uh, another thing they could do is famous, people who've made some famous horror movies i don't know it this one's really hard to predict at this point to be honest with you i, I got nothing more for i it. mean yeah celebrities britney spears i don't know what are we doing Bro, what kind of celebrities that, are we doing we're doing prince michael jackson we're bringing all the celebrities back from the dead oh if it was michael jackson my sister would be terrified Terrifying. She's terrified of Michael Jackson. <laughs> but I think celebrities, I mean, I I think this is one of those other things where I walk in and go, I'm just going to enjoy being here. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm just getting to walk by the Bates Motel, the Bates House, get to walk through the War of the World sets, maybe get to walk through some uh, Nope sets again. Boom, boom, um, boom. I, I thought it was a great, I had a great time walking through the Terry. I love that Terry Tram last year. It was great. Yeah, especially because, you know, the wait time said, like, oh, it's going to be about an hour and a half. And, you know, you walked for 20 minutes and you ran. I know. I remember we were in line getting stuff and I just see you walking back and forth. Like, I'm like, oh, shit, we better hurry the fuck up. This motherfucker's moving. 
Yeah, I don't think I ever stopped moving. No, I think we like we like met up with you and you were still going. Yeah, I was going just going. I mean, I got my steps in. Yeah, big time. You want to get your steps in I went Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah, well, if you want to get your steps in, just go through the entire Terror Tram line queue because you will be going on those switchbacks for 30 minutes just back and forth it's gotta be at least a few miles in there right like it has to be i wouldn't i wouldn't say a few maybe one and a half to two but th that's a good switchback yeah imagine, jog <laughs> imagine just jogging no it too man that's a good workout i feel like i'm getting dizzy i was getting dizzy just walking through the switchbacks <laughs> But enough about exercise. What did you guys think today about Horror Night Nightmares newest speculation map? The first one for Hollywood for 2023. Leave your comments down below what you thought about the speculated lineup for this season. Uh, we'll have our own speculations coming soon as well. I have a couple other things that I didn't see on this map that I want to speculate for a future video. Uh, as well as a little Six Flags video coming soon. So keep an eye out. Or maybe it already is out and, and shoot the shit. So enjoy those. Uh, but if you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button with the bell notification be where every time we put up a new video, we are almost to 3,000 subscribers, so please help us get there. We love each and every one of you. Hit that like button, leave some comments down below, follow us on our socials at the Knights of Horror on TikTok and Instagram, and at Knights of Horror on Twitter, at Knights of Horror Gaming on Twitch. Until then, we will see you guys very soon. Peace. Peace.